Hey YouTube, have you had a really stressful day today? Do you feel like a bit of calming brain hush? Okay, so grab your pens and paper and come and join me. I have just a thing for you. So we all lead busy lives, whether that's school or college or work, looking after your kids, looking after your parents, and we all need to take a break sometimes. So whether you're running or doing yoga or practicing mindfulness or doing some meditation and I think some snow just fell through my studio then did you see that right in shot <laughs> so we're going to do <laughs> we're going to do an inspirational quote today uh, don't go <gasps> it's gonna be something that's pertinent to you something that makes sense to you you choose your own one and uh, I'm gonna show you how to letter it and make it look really pretty and really cute so long as I don't get totally snowed in in my studio which has got a window right above me here and the snow is coming through it how exciting <laughs> so step one this is where I'm going to start drawing out my chunky letters and I have actually drawn in pencil uh, some little marks to show me roughly speaking where the le where the words are going to go but I haven't drawn it out uh, too methodically because I want this to be quite um, sort of free and organic the next bit I'm going to start making my curly my curly font make it as loopy as you want and with some lovely flourishes we are going to actually fill in some of the downward strokes in a minute with a different pen to make it stand out a bit more but for the moment we're just going to lay out where the letters are going to go I have sped this up a little bit this footage this is about twice as fast as I would normally draw so I wanted the letters to be a mix of uh, uppercase and lowercase. Just make it as uh, free flowing as you want really. I have had a lot of practice in drawing like this so if you want to you can actually map it out a lot better with pencil and then rub it out after you've filled in these letters with your uh, fine liner pen. So there you go, don't look back, you're not going that way. And here we are, I've got my slightly thicker pen, this is my Tombow soft tipped pen. And I'm just on the downward strokes, I'm just going back and remembering where my downward strokes were, and I'm just making that a bit thicker so that it looks a bit more like calligraphy, it's faux calligraphy. Go back over them as many times as you need to just to fill in those little bits on the on the left hand side of the uh, where the where the downward stroke is and don't forget the little twiddly bits don't be afraid to turn the paper as well so that you can access those those downward strokes a bit more easily so there we go i've done uh, most of them there and this is the, the last little bit that I'm going to do for the faux calligraphy. It makes it stand out quite a lot more then. So I've chosen a couple of colours here. I've chosen two different pinks. A uh, fairly pale one, it comes out a lot paler than, than it appears, and a slightly darker one. And then I've got my Tombow dual brush um, pen that's it's got some sort of uh, alcohol or something in it that blends the Tombow dual, dual brush colours. The pens I'm using are Crayola Super Tips. They work really, they're, they're, they're lovely pens to work with, but as you can see, sometimes they take a little bit longer to dry out in some areas, as you can see there on that D. 
on the curved bit it's uh, it's taken a little bit longer to dry out so my my idea was to do the darker bit down the bottom and then with that Tombow brush I'm just pulling those last remnants of the the damp ink up but actually I've left it a bit too long so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into it with the paler pink and uh, re wet it if you like and then use the Tombow brush to bring those bits of colour up in an upward stroke and this, these, the, the, that Tombow brush works beautifully with the Tombow pens um, not so well I think with the Crayola pens so I think probably next time I will just use them with the other like-minded Tombow pens So the bit at the bottom of the letter, do that bit last with your paler colour because that will keep it, keep that bottom bit a bit wetter and then as you go in with your darker pink, it should uh, begin to blend a bit better but I'm going back over it with my paler pink as well just to help to spread those strokes upwards and I'm just doing, I'm not only am I doing, doing some strokes but I'm doing dots as well and that helps to make more of a gradient. So I'm going to get rid of my, my uh, Tombow brush that, uh, that works so well with the other pens and just use the two Crayola pens here. So I'm going to work quite quickly and this is actually real time me colouring in. Just keep going over those bottom bits of the letters with your darker pen and then back over it again with the paler, just drawing those strokes up and making sure that you don't miss any of the little edge bits so you don't want any white bits poking through. It takes a little while but actually it's really effective once you work in those colours. I'm making sure that I do actually do the upper bits of the letters first because those are the bits that can dry out more quickly. The bottom bits I'm trying to leave as wet as possible for as long as possible. And that's working much better now. And I've got a little a missive apostrophe up there as well. I mustn't forget to colour. I decided to use the darker colour there but leave a little white area so it looks like it's shiny. So you're not going that way. I'm just going to quickly speed this up so that you can see it's exactly the same process for every letter. And you can switch off whilst you're doing this, just put some music on or a podcast or just sit in silence and enjoy your rest. You can just focus on this, do a bit of colour, colouring, mindful colouring and then at the end you're left with something really quite pretty. It's starting to look really lovely now. Yeah. Quite like that. Now, step four, I'm just going to add a little flourish. I have marked on the paper in pencil uh, an idea of where to start and where to finish, but actually I'm not going to follow that pencil mark. I'm just going to go with the flow and see where this line is going to take me. It's almost as if it has a bit of a mind of its own. Turn the paper so that you can access it really well from the side, whether you're left-handed or right-handed. You'll need to turn it a slightly different way, but do turn the paper. And there we go. The finished piece. 
So, how did it go? Comment below the video and uh, let me know what quote you used. Um, share it on Instagram. If you want a calligraphy sheet, I've got a free giveaway, so I'll put the link below, just follow that. And if you like the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe somewhere down in the corner over there. Make sure you share the video with your friends. And lastly, remember when you've had a real mare of a day, take a deep breath and have yourself some brain hush. <laughs>